to GCABI and welcome to Seth Crest from Crest Migration and McLaughlin's Lawyers. Um, Seth, I was just wondering if you could start by telling us what are some of the things that we need to look at when considering applying for a business and investment visa in Australia. Thank you, Sophie. Uh, yes, one, one issue that came up recently was the, uh, the age of the uh, primary applicant's children. He was applying for a, a 132 business and investment visa and one of his, his eldest child, but both his eldest daughters, two eldest daughters, are studying in Australia. His youngest son is in school in Hong Kong. He has a very successful business in Hong Kong he, he is looking to bring to Australia, to the Gold Coast. Unfortunately, the eldest daughter um, turned 23 during the process. Um, the process for a 132 visa is about two years, so quite a long processing time. One way to get around that is to have the family inside Australia at the time of application so they receive a bridging visa to allow them to stay in Australia until we receive a decision. So unfortunately we had to remove uh, the eldest daughter from the 132 visa application because she would not be eligible to receive it. Mm. And um, was there a solution to this problem? There was. We always look at options. Um, one option was the uh, 802 dependent child visa. That visa has a maximum age of 25, so uh, the eldest daughter still is eligible for that. However, time frames are still a little bit tight, so we do also have a backup plan of an 832 last remaining relative visa. Under that visa, there's no age restriction, uh, but the requirements are that the applicant has no near relatives except for her family that is residing in Australia. So once the family, the rest of the family, receives permanent residence, we can apply for that visa. Mm. And she can be included and the family can be together. Great. Well, thanks for the solution, Seb.